name is Santiago Muni. I'm the new scientific director of Progenesis. The goal is to update the technology that we have right now. We want to, for instance, uh, sequence every embryo, all every letter of the genome of those embryos uh, to discover any possible abnormality that uh, those embryos may have. Um, and this information will be for the life of that future baby. In addition, collect all metadata that uh, we are generating and apply AI and other methods, other emerging technologies, uh, metabolomics, etc., uh, to really have a super comprehensive uh, analysis of those embryos. The most interesting project right now, at least for me, uh, because I've been involved uh, in this field for 30 years, and that's one of the things that I couldn't achieve was uh, to whole sequence uh, embryos. And this is important, I think, because most of the patients that we are dealing with are of advanced maternal age, and therefore also of advanced paternal age. With advancing paternal age, there's an accumulation of the novel mutations and those mutations are not detectable uh, by any other means but unless we sequence the whole genome of those embryos. And this has repercussions uh, from the patients of advanced paternal age will have two or three times more risk of autism, 10 times more risk of uh, schizophrenia, 6% uh, of uh, pregnancies that uh, have congenital abnormalities may be able to be solved uh, through this method. So we will be able really to, to detect any potential genetic abnormality in those embryos. Progenesis is a US-based company. We started in 2015 as a PGTL lab here in San Diego, California and quickly became national wide. Today, Progenesis is operating in multiple countries, including Brazil, India, and starting operations soon in Turkey and Japan. What makes the Progenesis so unique is that we are not just a diagnostic lab. We're looking at data as a source of improvements for clinical outcome, and we are doing it in so many ways. For example, we have acquired an AMR company in South India, and uh, this AMR company is really a good way of improving clinical outcome by using uh, the latest tools in AI and machine learning to try to capitalize on that data that patient has that is just sitting in a system. So another way of uh, looking at the data is that we have built a bioinformatic team in Chennai in South India. And uh, this team, uh, along with the AI team, are developing the newest algorithms to try to innovate in a diagnostic field. In the last year and a half, we have been working really hard in developing a non-invasive test for metabolomic assay. This test, it looks at the biology of the embryo. So you're no longer just looking at genomics to assess embryo availability to lead to a pregnancy, but you're looking at the biology of an embryo. And that's your super importance. Progenesis' goal is to improve clinical outcome, enhance clinical outcome based on what we have today. We are using PGTA outcome as a starting point uh, above which we are enhancing the clinical outcome by looking at other components of the embryo, such as the biology of the embryo. So imagine if you have a 70% implantation rate using uh, embryo biopsy, and you can add additional context to that. Um, the biology of the embryo and the metabolites that are correlating with implantation and pregnancy, you definitely will have an enhanced uh, clinical outcome, and that's what Progenesis is doing today. So all in all, Progenesis is a data company and a diagnostic company focusing on diagnostics and AI to improve clinical outcome.